We have with us tonight an actress who has been America's idol for many years, Miss Mary Pickford. Mary Pickford was a trailblazing Hollywood actress long before today's stars called Tinseltown home. She was a silent film star, producer, business owner, and philanthropist. Auction Network and Julian's Auctions are giving you the opportunity to own personal items that once belonged to the screen legend in a spectacular two-day event, November 22nd and 23rd in Beverly Hills. It's the Pick Fair Estate Auction only on Auction Network. Mary Pickford was one of the first and one of the greatest stars of Hollywood. Uh, starting in the 1920s, one of the most famous women in the world, in fact. Let's take a look at some of the fabulous items being sold in the Pick Fair Estate Auction. Lot 88 is a continental Louis XV style Bombay commode. The table measures 32 by 41 by 20 and a half inches and is dated early 20th century. Lot 144 is a pair of Chinese carved rhinoceros horns. The piece is dated circa 1800. The piece can only be shipped domestically and is worth eight to $10,000. She did travel around the world. Uh, she traveled to France, to England. Uh, she traveled to Russia in the 1920s. Uh, she traveled to the Orient uh, later on with Charles Buddy Rogers. And uh, she saw quite a few places and uh, brought home a lot of things with her. She definitely liked quality. Uh, everything she did had a certain level of of uh, care to it, I think. And so uh, she was after not necessarily the most expensive item, but a well-made item, a well-made thing that, uh, that pleased her. Lot 210 is a beautiful Japanese lacquer box. The gold and black kabako features a scenic bridge and trees on a Nisiji ground with scalloped edges. On display at Lot 268 is a partial Capo de Monte porcelain dinner service. The set is dated early 20th century and totals 103 pieces. This celebrated set of dinnerware was featured or photographed for many articles regarding Pick Fair. Lot 275 features an international silver Trianon monogram sterling flatware set. The set is comprised of 131 immaculate pieces. The pieces are monogram DMF and marked Isco Sterling Patented. The total weight of the entire set is approximately 140 troy ounces. The people who collect the Mary Pickford stuff um, are a rare breed. Uh, the Douglas Fairbanks, the Charlie Chaplin. These are people who want to have a better understanding of their culture. It's not about film, it's about culture. It's about people who understand silent film. They really want to understand the development and growth of an industry. Mary Pickford had an affinity for Western-style art, like the piece found at Lot 422. It's a Frederick Remington painting featuring a young woman in a bar holding a six-shooter while four men look on. This is one of a series of paintings that hung in the famous Western bar in Pig Fair. She loved Western stuff, and she had a Western bar down below that was really big, and she had a lot of party, parties there with many, Marion Davis, and. William Randolph Hearst and Charlie Chaplin was always there and everyone famous, Hedda Hopper was there and everyone was famous would come down to these parties down in the Western Room and she would collect Western art, Remington and many, many famous, famous artists would be commissioned by her to do art for her house and, and she loved it. Saddle up for Lot 423. An exquisite 1943 Pergeron bronze horse statue created by famous sculptor Herbert Hasseltine. Feast your eyes on lot 605, a beautiful Lalique Tortorelle's vase. The piece is a molded ovoid form with opalescent glass. It's believed to be worth between seven and $9,000. The items that she collected in the course of her life hold a tremendous fascination for people years later, whether they have to do with her film career or not. She was a tremendous personality and she collected a wide range of things. I think primarily the things she collected were things that she simply liked. She wasn't specifically looking for what would be the greatest piece of artwork a uh, hundred years from now, but she collected the things that she liked. And to have that kind of connection, I think, today, to be able to go up and hold something that, was, that she chose simply because she liked it. 
Lot 666 is a cigarette case and lighter belonging to Pickford's third husband, actor Buddy Rogers. The retro 14 karat yellow gold and silver case is three by four and a quarter by half an inch. It's engraved on the inside, return to Buddy Rogers, Hollywood, California, reward. Lot 749 features one of Mary Pickford's personal autographed books. The handmade leather bound book contains approximately 120 signatures. Signatures in the book include President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Eleanor Roosevelt, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini, Thomas Edison, George Bernard Shaw, Henry Ford, Amelia Earhart, and many, many more. I think people should purchase items in the Mary Pickford auction because Mary Pickford is such an incredible legend and not enough people know who she is and the impacts that she's had on Hollywood. I think Mary Pickford was ahead of her time. She was in a young industry that was being figured out as they went uh, and she tried to find ways to take it further. Uh, just the name United Artists implies that she had uh, a vision and uh, a desire to improve the quality of the films that were being made. She saw herself as an artist, even though she came out of a very simple medium that had begun uh, in a few little shops in New York in around 1903 or so. Mary Pickford's legacy is that she had a passion to make a change. She wanted to take her assets and, and give as much as she can and make as big a change as she can. We hope you enjoyed our inside look at one of Hollywood's first movie stars. Mary Pickford will be forever remembered for the impact she had on Hollywood and the entertainment industry. Tune in to Auction Network November 22nd and 23rd and experience the Pick Fair Estate Auction courtesy of Julian's Auctions. Log on to auctionnetwork.com and register for the event for free. You'll have access to all the live bidding action, and you could walk away with a piece of Hollywood history. It's the Pick Fair Estate Auction only on Auction Network. All you have to do is watch, bid, and win.